What's up everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Mark, you're watching Trade Winner Dummy, and as usual, make sure you subscribe if you're not a subscriber, like this video, share this video at the end, and of course, click that bell button if you enjoy this content and you get notified every single time I drop a video. Bam, I said that really quick. Quickly, roll that intro. What's going on everyone? So recently I got a DM from one of my subscribers and followers who asked me, hey, I see that you're part of this group. Do you make a lot of money in the group? And before, when people used to always ask me that question, I usually you know, try to fill them out, see like what type of trader they are, and then refer them to which group I think would, they would basically benefit the most from. But the truth is this, um, this may not be the response that most people are looking for. Um, the answer is no, but hear me out. You're probably saying, yo, what you talking about? I'm in this group and I'm making money all the time. You are probably right. So what about the 90% of other people that are sitting there that are quietly in a group not saying anything? They may be winning, they may be losing, but the truth is this, and this is what I, I, I kind of want to put out there because I don't want people to have this misconception because I advertise the group OTP Clubhouse a lot because I'm in that group. Um, but I want people to understand this. This, is, this may be a misconception that a lot of people have that if you join a group, you're automatically going to make money, you're going to be a millionaire. And that's very unlikely to happen. And I say this because your goal should not be to join a group and just make money. That's, that's a dumb statement. What do you mean? I, I'm, why, why am I joining a group? Exactly, why are you joining a group? Are you joining a group because you just wanna get the call outs and you're hoping that, hey, this person does a better job at calling out plays than this person and this person is gonna make me more money than this person. You will have wins and you will have losses. Granted, in OTP Clubhouse, I haven't had a bad month yet. I've been in a group for about three to four months, I think, about three months about three, yeah, three months, and I haven't had a bad month yet. But I've had had losses, I've had had some bad weeks. It's a roller coaster, but most importantly, the reason why I stay in this group and the reason why I like this group is because I'm in the mentorship program. In the end of the day, my goal is not to rely on somebody else making call outs. This is the gym real quick, you gotta pay attention. Your goal should be able to learn as much as you can from that individual so you can be a proficient trader enough not to rely on groups. That should be your ultimate goal, not just making money, but actually learning from the group. Because let's say worst case scenario, like I said, I'm in OTP Clubhouse, let's say Mo, that's the admin guy. Let's say one day the next he decides, you know what? I don't wanna mentor anymore. I don't wanna have a Discord group anymore. I am done trading publicly. What are you gonna do next? Are you gonna freak out and say, you know what, let me find the next best group, or are you gonna be able to suffice on your own? And that is my goal. So when people ask me, yo, do you make money in this group? I've made money in every single group that I've been part of. The question should be, which group have I learned the most from? And which group has improved my trading skills and my investing skills? That should be the question that you guys should ask, and that should be your focus when you get into these groups. That's the reason why I wanted to do this video, because I don't want people to have this misconception that when I review these groups, that it automatically means that you're gonna join and you're gonna make money. Because you may realize, hey, this group is not for me. For example, I have one of my homies, shout out to you, Saint. He joined OTP Clubhouse, but it wasn't for him. He was actually one of the few that has said, you know what? This one's not for me, and that's okay. That is the purpose of why you should go from group to group to group to see which method works for you best. Because ultimately, you should be there to learn. You should be there to be able to see these call outs that they're making and seeing why they're calling these out so you have the eye to be able to do it for yourself. So who knows, maybe one day you might become this master trader and all of a sudden you can start your own group and start charging people money or help other people for free. It's ultimately up to you, but you should not, and I repeat, you should not solely, <coughs> solely, I don't hope I'm using this word right, rely on trading groups. Because if you're in the group and you're just relying on a call out, so you're doing yourself a disservice because basically what you're doing every single day is you're playing the lotto. 
Wait, Mark, how so? If you're getting into positions from these call outs that these people are making in these groups and you don't know why you're getting into them, you're essentially gambling. I could keep beating a dead horse, but listen, ultimately you need to find a group that you fit in, that you feel like you get a lot of value from, someone who's willing to reach out to you and talk to you and tell you what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong. And ultimately it's gonna be up to you how much information you're taking from that person. Because again, you're paying for knowledge, not for calls. I mean, yeah, that's a perk, but ultimately you wouldn't be able to rely on yourself. You wouldn't be a proficient trader. You don't wanna rely on other people. And some groups are better than others at doing that. Also, by the way, this is a shout out to my old supervisor name is Scott. He wrote this memoir on, oh, memoir. Mem I, I, I really need to go back to English as my second language. He wrote this book. I don't know if I can give you, you know, focus. There you go. He wrote this book about his life. It's a really sad story. It's, a, it's an easy read. It's real thin. Check it out. I'll put the link below. It's on Amazon. It's a really good book, man. If y'all can support him, I would really appreciate it. The guy was an amazing supervisor while I was in the military. One of the few, I can say. But his story, man, is heartfelt. It's about abuse and emotional abuse and physical abuse. You guys should definitely read it. Again, my name is Mark. You're watching Train with a Dummy. See you guys in the next video. Peace out. Oh.